time to show the Vitamix and Wells Press in conjunction. Been doing this for about a year now. I thought we'd uh, show our latest creation here. By the way, for those of you curious, after about a year of pressing with the Wells Press, if you bleach it once a week, they still stay pretty clean. Uh, obviously, they're going to get pretty stained pink juice through them. <laughs> Veggies are all washed. So we're just going to chop them up, throw them in the Vitamix. Today it's carrots, a bit of ginger, yeah, I just throw peels and all in. carrots about. Just throw it all in, whatever's there. Swiss chard from the garden. It's about one pound of Swiss chard, ten large leaves. Found breaking it up into small pieces just helps it grind up a bit faster in the Vitamix. Sometimes with all the leaves in there, it's a little hard to get it down at the beginning, so I might have to run it and then add in the remaining ingredients. Other times you can get it all in. Uh, half a chayote, the other half got used in a juice this morning. Sometimes it's called, I think, a, a Latin squash, or I've heard people call it Mexican squash. A few people I've heard call it Filipino squash. And one apple. As you can see, Vitamix gets pretty full. the pores of the Wells press uh, juicing pot, the pressing bag. Actually, I tried a pressing bag, didn't like them. I might have preferred just the plain old cloth. Sometimes it takes a couple of times through the press, but I'll see if I can get it all in one batch this time around. As you may have noticed, I like to wash the dishes up as I go, because one thing I didn't like about some typical juicers with all the cleanup time. You have to do all of it at the very end. 
doesn't take a whole lot to clean out the Vitamix. Let's see if we can get all this good in one time in the press box. Fold it up like a big old burrito. So I've got so much in there, I'll probably press it halfway, take it out, refold it, and then press again. And some people work out of bowls and transfer the burrito over here, press cloth with everything in it. But I like just working in the drain pan itself. A few things to watch for on the wells press. One, they tip over easily, so you do have to keep one hand on top. The other is that the juicing pan is very shallow, so you have to keep a very close eye on it because juice bag is up against the edges, it will leak out the sides. You may have seen I had a few drips off the back. One of the reasons I wanted a manual press instead of one of the automatic ones like the Norwalk because you can leave it sit up against the press as long as you want. Sometimes you'll get nearly a whole cup of juice just from letting it sit there in the raised position. turn the release knob on the wells press, they do say not to turn it more than I think two turns. I've never had to go more than about three quarter turn. But if you've got a new one of these, they are very stiff at the beginning. They loosen up over time getting the juice tray down. When it's all done, I'll show you a nifty trick someone online pointed out that worked really well for that. And then while it's draining the last bit, it's a good time to clean up. A little juice from off the back, but not too bad today. You can let it sit there till the last drop is out. I'm doing now, just say ah, that's enough. It'll continue dripping for quite a while. Here's the great part about juice presses cleanup is a snap.
I usually just rinse out the bag after each one. I'm doing this three to five times a day. At the end of the week, I'll bleach it. As you can see, it does get stained, obviously green, because this was a green juice. If you're doing carrot, it'll come up orange and eventually brownish red. Edges were cold, don't need to add any ice. For those wondering, the green color still makes it taste weird in my opinion, but if you ignore the color, they actually taste pretty good. I have found a much prefer Swiss chard to lettuce for juicing as far as taste. I found the Lettuce just gave it too much of an algae flavor. Don't know about you, I don't like drinking algae. And that's start to finish. For an entire 12 minutes, including cleanup time. I did say I'd show you if you're new with your press when you first get them. press tray can be hard to get up and down. You usually get two claws, so I'd say just leave one thing over top of it. And just leave it there. Your juice tray will go on top. That way when you are done and ready to release the press, if it's stuck, you have a handle to pull down on. It. They say half turn is always pretty much bending out to three quarters of us. So grab the cloth and just pull it down. It just gives you something to grab a hold of. But after a while, it does loosen up and it's not an issue any longer. Trust that will help you. Enjoy. Uh, if you're wondering, I did a test with my old centrifugal, get about 50% more juice going with the juice press after it's been ground up in the Vitamix. You can hand grade it, but that takes a lot of work. Have a great day.